Hello and welcome to another edition of Lab Rats. So last week you guys got your microscopes and you learned about all the different parts of the microscope and how to use it and obviously it's a very important part of science because we, we use microscopes to look at very very tiny things and to understand them. So the next thing that you need to learn how to do is how to actually prepare a slide to look at under a microscope. So in your lab kits um, and in your little microscope kit here you were given a bunch of blank slides. So this week in your lab kit, you were given an onion. So an adult should cut that up for you and you should cut them into uh, pieces that kind of look like this. So, you know, kind of these more rectangular chunks. So cut them into slices and then cut them from there. And then you can put them in a solution of water and food coloring. And that's in order to stain all the different parts of the onion. So where we're leading to once we actually create our slide is we're going to learn about the different parts of plant cells. Because from here on in, we're going to learn a lot about biology. So you have slides, these little plastic slides, and you have cover slips. And cover slips are basically tiny little plastic pieces that you use to cover whatever it is that you're actually looking at with the slide. So there we go, we have those two components. So after you've let your pieces of onion soak in our, in our dye for a little while, you wanna pick one out, um, you know, that's kind of a, a, a decent size, something like this. And you're going to want to pick off um, the layer, like there's basically a membrane, which is actually the onion skin. Just like we have skin, they have skin. So you're gonna wanna pick the skin from the inside part of the onion. This is the outside of the onion, this is the inside, you want the inside part. So you're given forceps in your little, uh, in your little kits and you also are given kind of this little kind of knife-like tool. So you can use these tools to uh, pick that off. So if you look, you can just pick that right off. It's probably easier to use this actually. So you can pick it off and you'll notice that this skin comes off just like that. And we have a whole onion skin. So discard it because once you've used it once, you can't use it again. And there you go, you have an onion skin. So now what you wanna do is you wanna take this and maybe take your forceps because we're scientists and that's what we do. You're gonna to wanna to put it over top of this clear part of this slide. So there's like a clear little window in your slides. You're gonna wanna put your, your little um, onion skin over that. And you can cut it if you want with like a, a scissors or something to make it a little bit more, you know, a, 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 an, an appropriate shape for, for, for your slide. You're gonna wanna take your pipette. This is called a pipette. And you're gonna wanna uh, squeeze the top of it and then draw up some water because, and this is actually what we do in science. This is what, when I was teaching university students, this is exactly the same things that I taught them. So you're basically doing university right now. So you take this and you just put a drop of water on the slide. Okay, so put, put a couple drops of water on it. Now what you're gonna wanna do is you need your cover slip. Okay, so we have this cover slip. So what you do with a cover slip is you take it and you kind of run it at a 45 degree angle across your slide, just like this. And then you drop it very, very, very gently, okay? And the reason you do that is because you wanna minimize the amount of air bubbles that are under your slide. Because if there's air bubbles, you can't see things very well. Then you can take a little piece of paper towel, just like this, and you can dab around the edges, you know, to, to soak up any, any of that water that's, that's coming off from the sides. Okay, now you have prepared a slide. So the next thing we can do is we can actually look at this under a microscope. So as we know, all living things are made up of cells, right? They're the building blocks of all organisms. I'm made of cells, my dog is made of cells, plants are made of cells, trees are made of cells. And that's what you're gonna see when you look at this slide under the microscope. You're gonna see some onion cells, some onion skin cells. Uh, the technical name for uh, the cells of the skin are actually called the epidermis. So the epidermis is what scientists would call the skin. So you take this and you slide it under your microscope. You make sure you're on the smallest power. Remember the smallest power is the one that has the, 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 the little lens and you click it in when it's at the back, that's when it's actually connected to the eyepiece and you can look through, okay? And you can adjust your, your, your lens up and down, adjust your, your compound lens and you can actually see cells under this. 
which is absolutely remarkable. This works so well, and you can you, you can use the other powers. You can slide it up and look at it under, un, under higher powers and look at what you can see. And the things that you should see are you should see these little rectangles and then a little round thing in the middle. So that rectangle is the cell itself, and then that round thing is called the nucleus. And the nucleus is where basically all of all of uh, the, the, the genetics and the DNA and the things that make us look the way they do and behave the way they do is stored in a cell. So that's the nucleus. The round thing is called the nucleus. It's basically what controls. You can almost think of it as like the brain of the cell. It's not really, but you can kind of think of it that way. And that rectangular bit is called the cell membrane. Now the cell membrane is kind of like a balloon, right? Like the outside of a balloon, it holds the cell together. And then you'll kind of see this kind of black layer around it. That's the cell wall. Now plants have something called the cell wall. It's kind of like this really rigid edge that they have around their cells and it makes them really rigid. If you've ever bitten to celery and it makes that crunch, that's what you're biting into. You're biting into the cell wall. Animals don't have that. We don't crunch when you bite into animals, right? If you have like a steak or a chicken or something, it doesn't crunch. That's because we don't have cell walls. So cell walls are what make plants so rigid. It's what makes them, it, it's what make trees so rigid. It, it's, it's what makes, you know, other types of plants so rigid. So that's what you're seeing. You're seeing all these different parts of a onion cell. So what you've learned today is you've learned actually how to make a slide, how to prepare a slide for science, whether, you know, it doesn't matter what kind of scientist you are, you need to look at things under a microscope and you've learned the basic components of cells because that's where we're going from here on in. We're actually going to learn about animals and plants and look at cells under microscopes and do a bunch of experiments using microscopes and, and, and uh, a bunch of things in our natural world from here on in. All right, so if you guys have any questions, please feel free to put your questions or comments in the, in, in the video below and I'll see you guys next week.